It's election day in the U.S. and we have the key races to watch. And the death rate for heart disease is dropping, but there are signs you should not ignore. Plus, I, 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 a glitch on some iPhones are changing I to an A. The Middle begins our night of funny on ABC starting at 8, as Frankie is tasked with being at her mother's beck and call. From the ABC Columbia studio, I'm Kimberly Davis. Here are your trending headlines for Tuesday, November 7th. It's election day across the U.S. Voters will head to the polls to cast ballots in local races. The most closely watched race is for Virginia governor. Republican Ed Gillespie and Democrat Ralph Northam are neck and neck in the polls. President Trump is backing Gillespie. Former President Barack Obama campaigned for Northam. A win for Northam would be a big first step toward rebuilding the Democratic Party. Our Grace Joyle joins us now with some of the local races. In Columbia, two city council seats are up for grabs. The at-large seat, currently held by Tamika Isaac Devine, is being challenged by Five Points businessman Joseph Azar. And 27-year-old Chris Sullivan is taking on council's most veteran member, Sam Davis, for that District 1 seat. Out in Chapin, incumbent mayor Skip Wilson faces two challengers, David Knight and Shayla Flores. Three candidates are vying for a seat on Chapin's town council, Preston Baines, Joe Deaver, and Al Coon. For a full list of local races and what you need to know as you head to the polls, visit abccolumbia.com. In today's Health Minute, we're talking about heart health. Kim Hutcherson explains why the death rate for heart disease is dropping and signs you should not ignore. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for both men and women. But according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the number of heart disease deaths in the U.S. is dropping. One doctor attributes lower heart disease deaths to better treatments and access to health care, as well as improving diets and exercise. People who are most at risk for heart disease include those who suffer from diabetes, people who are overweight, people who maintain a poor diet with a lack of physical activity, and those who consume excessive alcohol. One of the most common symptoms of heart disease is a heart attack. It's important to recognize the early warning signs of a heart attack, like discomfort in the chest, arm, and shoulders, nausea, vomiting, lightheadedness, and shortness of breath. The CDC says every year about 735,000 Americans have heart attacks. A recent study published in the journal Circulation said nearly half of the people studied experienced so-called silent heart attacks and didn't even realize it. To make sure your heart is in the best health, make sure you're getting regular checkups. An iPhone glitch is causing typos and frustration. Some users say when they type a lowercase i, the phone's autocorrect feature changes it to an uppercase a with a symbol. The bug appears to be impacting phones with the new iOS 11.1 software. Apple said in an online post on Monday that a future update should fix the error. They also published a temporary fix on Apple.com. Get tonight's election winners, breaking news, weather alerts, traffic updates, sports, and more on the ABC Columbia mobile app. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. Have a great Tuesday, and thanks for watching.